Hey, this is Stephanie Padovani with bookmorebrides.com and today we're going to learn how to set up a Google Analytics account so that you can track your website and the traffic that comes to it. So first you want to go to google.com forward slash analytics. I'm already here and then when you're there you will see the blue box that says access analytics. Beneath it it says new to Google Analytics click sign up now. Now if you already have a Google account feel free to enter the email and password you use for that if you have Gmail or something of that nature. If not, don't have a Google account, click sign up now. So we're going to sign up for both Google and Google Analytics. So simply enter your email address and choose a password. Then scroll on down here and type in these letters for the word verification. Sometimes that's a little tricky. Feel free to read the Google Terms of Service. Right now I'm just going to click I accept create my account. Now our account creation has been completed but we still need to confirm. So what you want to do now is check your email and click on the link in that email to confirm that your Google account is correct. Here I'm at my email and you'll see your email subject will be Google email verification. Open up that email and inside click that link. Make sure you check your spam folder if you don't find it right away. That's where mine ended up. And now it confirms email address verified and your Google account is activated. So click here to manage your account profile. We are interested in the analytics setting under my products so click there on analytics. Once that comes up You'll see a little invitation to sign up for Google Analytics and click sign up. Now here's where you'll enter the website URL that you would like to track. In my case, it's bookmorebrides.com. I'll keep the account name the same for simplicity's sake. Just enter your country and time zone, click continue. Enter your name. Firefox is doing this for me, makes it very simple your country, United States in my case, click continue. Now I do encourage you to read the Google Analytics Terms of Service. Once you've done so, click yes, I agree, and click on create new account. Now we're going to keep everything very simple here. You're going to stay with standard analytics. You're tracking a single domain, in my case it's Book More Brides. Now this right here is the code. We need to put this code between the body tags on every page of your website that you would like to track. So just simply copy and paste this and put it between the body tags. Now if that's a little more advanced than what you're up to these days, just come on down here where it says optional email these instructions and you have everything you need to send your webmaster. So just copy and paste this for your webmaster and it tells them exactly what you need them to do to set up Google Analytics on your website. Now here is my Google Analytics information for Book More Brides and you'll notice that until you install that tracking code on your website the status will have this little yellow triangle that says it's not receiving data. Tracking is unknown. Now I've skipped ahead to show you what your Google Analytics data will look like. Once your tracking code is installed and it's receiving data, this is the data from the djsolution.com website. You can see it gives you all kinds of good information here. And under Traffic Sources Overview, you click View Report and it will tell you how much traffic you're getting in number of visitors and where that traffic is coming from. You can see my tra top traffic sources here, Google, Direct, Facebook, etc. So it gives you lots of valuable information. So that's pretty much it. Anytime you want to access your analytics data, just come back to google.com forward slash analytics and enter in your password and user ID.